picture feels like it should be on a poster stamp or on some currency. It is a photograph taken by Jack T. Franklin, one of the countless moments the North Philadelphia native captured through the lens of a camera during the course of his lifetime. This is a demonstration of the power of the people to come to bear to break the bastions of segregation and discrimination in Philadelphia in 1965. Jack died last year. He was 83 years old, but his work is on exhibit at the African American Museum where the prolific photographer bequeathed 500,000 of the images he took in Philadelphia. When I see the body work that Jack work represents through photography, it's, it's immeasurable. The exhibit at photos document Jack's journalistic and personal travels over the years. This series of photographs was taken in um, World War, during World War II when Jack was serving in Guam. Jack went few places without his signature TAM. He went nowhere without his camera. He was often perfectly positioned to snap photographs that could paint telling pictures about people and politics and the front lines of social change. This photograph was taken during the construction controversy at Strawberry Mansion High School when there were no black being being employed to build this school and it was being built in black neighborhood. And Jack was right on the scene when violence erupted. He zoomed in for the close-ups of iconic entertainers. One night, making his way backstage to photograph entertainer Josephine Baker. From the look on her face, you, you, hardly, you hardly have to imagine what Jack did to elicit this smile. Jack, a Simon Gratz graduate, fell in love with taking pictures when he was just a boy in North Philadelphia. Over the years, his favorite camera was known as a deuce and a quarter. No matter the camera, Jack's stills championed the power of photography to educate, challenge, and inspire. Perhaps it's why he didn't hesitate to ask Muslim leader Malcolm X to step away from the fray to take this reflective photograph. Malcolm X was in Chester in 1965 at a housing rally, and Jack said that during the break, he had no problem approaching him and asking him to stand over here by this mirror. He focused his lens, his camera, on stories that reflected the politics of the time. They ranged from national protests for equality to local demonstrations staged to integrate Girard College. Jack, from the very beginning, knew what his whole thing was going to be about his destiny was to have a camera with him from, from being a young man to when he passed, Jack was a cameraman. Jack captured life through his camera. He did what he loved and loved what he did. The timeless value of his work will tell stories of a generation gone by for generations to come. The Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists honors Jack T. Franklin with the 2010 Lifetime Achievement Award.